Hi guys, I hope everything's going well with you, and I hope that this video finds you well. Um, I've been um, asked and tasked with the various questions about what's going on globally and various questions with things going on personally. And uh, I just want you guys to step back for a second. The world feels like it's spinning out of control because the world goes through this period of, of extreme change in periodic cycles. It will peak at a certain point and then will go down. And the empires that exist within these cycles will experience changes. The arrangement of the empires and arrangements of the nations will experience changes. Families within these nations and within these societies will experience change. And individuals will experience change. And in a lot of ways, in a lot of cases, it's very, very frightening. And I'm here to tell you, just roll with the changes. Um, I'm going to put uh, a couple of uh, videos, but we just had a holiday here. Uh, it's, it's the Chinese anniversary, 75th anniversary of the founding of China, and we had a nice week-long holiday. And uh, I took some vi vi various videos of just things that I thought, what's going on, what I've been doing. So I'm going to start playing these, and you can watch them or not, if give you an idea of what it's like on my side of the world. Um, instead of just looking at this mug the whole time. Um, and um, just you can watch it or not while, while my voice drones on with my particular set of statements. Okay, so let's uh, review this quickly. Change is everywhere and change is uncomfortable. Many of you might be facing fear because you don't know what to expect. Uh, a lot of my old classmates are retired or are retiring now and they're afraid because they don't know what they're going to do. Is the United States going to go insolvent and social insurance, social security going to fall apart? Then what are they going to do? Nobody will be able to hire them. Um, what about people who've got money invested in all kinds of stocks and the stocks are going up and stocks are going down and all kinds of things are happening or in, or in real estate like in China here? All my properties are 50% its value. And which is really bad if, if you've leveraged uh, those properties against other projects. So on a, on a personal basis, it's frightening. You've got society as a whole. In the West, you've got this woke stuff going on and, and it just seems like everybody's shooting each other. Maybe it's just the videos I've been watching, but there's, there's a certain degree of craziness going on in the West, especially in the United States. That's not good. It can't possibly be good. Don't you know? Don't you think? So, um, and it's all very frightening. And it doesn't help when we've got uh, a president, um, Joe Biden, who... And then the, the oligarchy puts his next candidate up there, was, is, is Harris. Honestly, I can't believe she's 60 years old. She looks much younger than 60 years old. But she sure acts like a much younger person, don't you? Don't you think? And then you got Donald Trump. Well, he was president. We kind of know what the Trump administration was. It was anti-China all the way, and I'm in China, so of course that's kind of scary. And since whatever business I have is involved in international trade and new product development, 
looks like that's going to be put the kibosh on and maybe everybody's going to start going back to buggy whips and horse-drawn carriages for all I know. So it's frightening. All kinds of things are very frightening right now. It is not a bad thing to experience fear. But if you start experiencing fear over a long period of time, you experience stress. Stress is fear that you can't do anything about. It's like you're in a bus and the driver's drunk, okay? It's like you're in an airplane and the pilot is drunk. There's nothing you can do about it. And he's, in the, you're in a 747 and he's deciding to play loop-de-loops. Wee! <laughs> you know, that's stressful stuff. And so, a lot of my viewers and readerships here are experiencing stress at various levels. And uh, I had a discussion yesterday a little bit with a, an influencer who I like to consider a friend. Actually, guys, all of you guys I, I consider friends. Um, I, I, I really do. So, um, and, and he was, um, we were talking about this and other issues and um, it's not that I haven't ever experienced this kind of thing because I actually have the greatest things about fear is the unknown you've never experienced it before so you're afraid of it let me give you two examples I went through bankruptcy I was terrified about going through bankruptcy I wouldn't know I didn't know what to do but honestly, I was having debtors, and they, they, they had bill collectors up there. The bill collectors were bothering all the time and harassing me, threatening me, me with this and that. And I was stressed under work, and my wife at that time, who had a mental illness, was just freaking out. So, you know, it was very stressful. And eventually, it said we couldn't handle it anymore. Let's do bankruptcy, and we were terrified. We went to an attorney. And he says, this is what you do. And we didn't know what to do. We were so frustrated. So we paid the money to the attorney and everything went crickets. Everything got calm. Nobody bothered us anymore. Anybody bothered us what anymore? We, we uh, gave him the uh, phone number of our attorney. And everything went really calm. And then six months later, we had a hearing and all of our debts and everything was discharged and we were um, we were in the black. Our credit of course was shit. It took me years to build the credit back up but um, it wasn't a cliff we fell over, fell off of. It didn't affect me getting other work or jobs or anything. All these stigmas that I had and stigmatized ideas of what a bankruptcy would be never materialized. It was like night and day from heavy duty stress to no stress at all. And that was really, really good. I mean, that was really, really fantastic. I'll give you another example. Prior for me going to prison, I was scared shitless. I thought that I was going to be raped in prison and abused and all kinds of bad stuff were going to happen to me. Oh my God, I was terrified. I mean, I was just really, really terrified. And I had like six months of court procedures all drawn out and everything before I, I, I ended up putting on my prison uniform or whatever and all that time. I was stressing, stressing. And my um, my attorney, he he got me in touch with a doctor. He says, you see this doctor over here. The doctor checked me out physically. He says, you're stressing out really bad. And if you don't get a handle on this stress, you are going to get very sick. So uh, he gave me something. And this was his exact words. This will take the edge off of, off it. And I, I forget what it was. Ativan, maybe it was. Ativan. He gave me this. And I just took this little pill. And um, it really did cut the edge off. 
Oh, all this other stuff was still going on, but I was no longer frozen. See, stress will make you freeze like a deer on a highway, deer in the headlights. You won't know what to do. Stress will hurt you and harm you in that way, and that's really not a good thing. And so he did that, and it made a very, very big um, impression on me. It was a very, very big deal. And, and of course, I, I appreciated it. And then when I went to, then when I went to um, a prison, it wasn't anything like I feared. It wasn't fun, but it wasn't the horrors that you see on television or the horrors that everybody had talked about. Jail was like kindergarten, and prison was just like um, it's like being in a commune. Actually, everybody had their role. You do your stuff, and then you go back to your rack. Um, initially, I, I, I had to do hard labor, which wasn't fun, but it wasn't impossible. So it wasn't the bad, fearful stuff that I was expecting. There's all kinds of things that happen. Fear of your parents dying. You know, my mother, uh, before she died, she was doing everything that she could to calm us down and get everything all ready. But as she was getting sicker, her cognitive functions were going down and declining, and she made some decisions that caused problems later on. And I was, and I was the executor of her estate, and oh, God fighting my greedy kid sister was just a nightmare so um, but the bottom line was life changed after she died but it wasn't this falling off the abyss this horrible thing so what happens here is what I'm trying to say is on a personal level a family level a society level a national level a geopolitical level Fear will cause you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. That stress. You have to control yourself so you don't do stupid things. Oh my God, my world is coming apart. The answer is to kill myself. Like that. That's a stupid thing. Don't do stupid things. So... Um, and the whole world, the whole society seems to be doing this. The United States is really having some issues right now. It's really having some problems right now. And I really don't want you guys to experience these problems or go through these problems. That's why I advocate, you know, changes of this and changes of that. But in this, this particular video, I'm going to offer a couple of sagey guidance stuff to help you guys deal with the multifaceted assaults of stress that you're all dealing with right now. So this is true whether you are feeling personal stress at home, in relationships, or if you are um, just scared shitless because you feel that the United States or the West or whatever is spinning wildly out of control. The first thing that you all should do is practice your affirmations. Always run your affirmation campaign. Put in those affirmations of what you don't want to happen, uh, what you're fearful in, in a way, not you don't say things in your affirmations like, I will not lose my job. You don't say anything like that. Instead, you say something like, "My everybody at my work loves me. They think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. And I am so useful and important to my job that people give me raises and bonuses. Stuff like that. The second thing, aside from affirmations, and that controls your worldwide navigation. You've got to take care of your body. Fear and stress is going to wreck the living crap out of your body, guys. It's going to really hurt you. It doesn't matter if it's if it's your iPad news from Dredge Report or whatever the hell you're getting your news from. You know, um, 
you've got to control your body, and the best thing is to do some exercise. I find that fear really takes up a lot of my time, and it makes it difficult for me to exercise. You've got to do some exercise, guys, even if it's just a walk. Do some kind of exercise. You will appreciate the exercise, and it's a good, good thing. Really, exercise really helps. People talk about exercises. I'm not saying get a gym membership. I'm saying get a set of weights and then do some arm curls every other day. I'm saying walk down the street, go up the steps instead of taking the elevator. Okay? Jump rope. You want some good exercise? Lordy, 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 jump rope. Okay? Just do stuff like that. Hell, what you can do is put a little jump rope in the car. When you go to work in the morning, you park the car in the parking lot, and you jump rope for, uh, I don't know, whatever county you feel is comfortable enough. And then go in. Just a little bit more exercise will help you. Okay, just a little bit more. Next thing is eating right. Now, everybody's got different tastes and all kinds of stuff, but please um, try to stay away from fatty foods, stay away from fast food, stay away from um, uh, overly processed food. It doesn't matter what you eat. I recommend fruits and vegetables. In fact, at, at my house, we always have one vegetable and we have one fruit. Lately, it's been apples or grapes. But, you know, we always have... And you don't have to make salads. You just take uh, some, some lettuce and you boil it a little bit, okay? You know, you can steam it a little bit. Um, and uh, uh, just eat well. Um, try to eat more fish if you can do it and less and less uh, red meats. I love red meats, oh my God. Pastrami, I love pastrami. Okay, but you can't do that every single day. So, you know, watch what you eat, your, your intake, okay? All right? And so, if you're controlling uh, your affirmations and you're controlling what you eat and you have a little bit exercise, this is all basic and it affects, it counter affects the, the negative influences that are being thrown at us by an increasingly hysterical Western group of mega empires. Turns them off, okay? So, eat well what you put in your body. Make sure you have a supplement. I use one a day for old people. Supplement silver. Because I'm old. But if you don't take it, you'll see a difference. You just take one supplement, okay? And there's other supplements that uh, I take on and off. Um, for the longest time, I was taking fish oil. Um, but uh, that was to uh, recoup because I wasn't eating enough seafood. I'm a strong believer that we have to eat seafood in our diets. But that's just me, okay? That's just me. Um, just control what you eat. Uh, control what you listen to, of course, right? And all these things, it's a holistic way of handling things. And of course, a meditation, I know, exercising and meditation, all this. If you got the time, but many of you who are watching this, I already have your predefined routines and it's really hard to squeeze in, wedge in meditation routine for half an hour. But if you can, do it. It'll make a big difference in your overall life. Now, of course, <clears throat> the geopolitical scene basically sucks. The United States has been broiled with Israel and wars all over the damn globe, wanting to start one with China, and I'm in China, so damn, that really sucks. Don't get too caught up in it, guys. Don't get too caught up in it. Don't want you to get too caught up in it, okay? Um, uh, domain Commander says the same thing just he's like broken record don't get too caught up <laughs> he says, he says, saying to me 
do not get involved with things that are not your concern. Apparently it's not my concern. The war in Ukraine, the war in Gaza is not my concern. I'm not supposed to get involved in that kind of stuff. But it's really hard for me not to feel sympathy for Palestinians and see sympathy for all these killings and, and stuff for whatever the hell is going on. My area of concern is uh, China and Asia. and. Um, I'm told, don't worry about it. <laughs> Can you believe it? So uh, during this period of particularly uh, dense change, um, it's all proceeding as it's supposed to. Things are being kept in check. It's easy for us to, to say, well, you know, they looked, they used a mini nook over there and United States had a bioweapon over here and they try and they created uh, earthquakes in Turkey by underground nuclear de detonations and stuff. Yeah, 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 and yeah. But uh, does it affect me riding a bike outside on this beautiful blue sky day? I used to get so, I used to get so worried about things. My dad would be, be like, why are you so damn concerned? The world does not sit on your shoulder. And this was back in the damn 70s. Oh, it's like, you know, you're on the Titanic and you're seeing it sinking. <laughs> you know, you know, something's going to happen. I better hang out by the life rafts. I think it might be a good idea. Yeah. Well, I already did that. I'm in China. China is the safest place. I'm told this is where it would be really good for me, so that's where I'm at right now. Wherever it's good for you is for your own personal best interests. So guys, don't get too caught up. As this period of species change on this globe that's going through global change, it's only going to be a short-lived period of crazy train. It's not going to last forever. And don't let your fear think that everybody's going to be falling off the edge of a cliff. It's not. You're not going to die in some kind of darkness. There might be some discomfort heading your way. There could be some things that you will have to deal with. But none of them are going to be horrific and nasty. Okay? So do not worry about them. Okay? Don't worry about them. And that's the point of this video. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Alright? Don't worry about it. Okay? All the stuff's going on. It's not your problem. Okay? We're just here making our way. And while we're making our way, we have to be acknowledged, we have to acknowledge that the world seems to be spinning out of control, but we're still hanging on. And things look really bad in our personal lives or our family lives or in our local lives or our government lives or in our geopolitical lives and it looks really scary. Don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. Okay? Because as long as you are eating well, sleeping well, controlling what you eat and drink, everything will be just fine. Well, I hope you liked my little family videos. I took them at the beach and I took them at some of the various activities that I took my daughter on during this holiday. And I also included a bunch of... Uh, uh, little videos showing um, what the what it's like to drive around here. Um, everything is like 12 lane super highways here. China has never heard of a two lane highway. I don't think they've ever heard of a two lane highway. It's all just mega mega super highways with side roads parallel paralleling it. So. Um, and it's really quite a, uh, a challenge to drive if you're not familiar with it. It's one of the things that 
I'm not too keen about China about because it's just, it's not that the roads are terrible. It's nothing like that. It's that there's just so many people and there's a large number of very, very poor people. I would call them ignorant people. We got them in the United States too. You get them everywhere. They don't care. If the rule says that, they're like, I don't care. I got away with it. They'll get away with something else. They're the kind of people that go into a restaurant and steal all the toilet paper because nobody's watching it. They're the kind of people that go into a restaurant and steal the free toothpicks or the free matchbooks that they have there. They'll just empty the box of matchbooks and put it in your purse. By the way, do you have matches anymore in the United States? I imagine that they probably stopped giving them when they took away the ashtrays and everybody got a smoke outside, I would imagine. So, um, so I don't know what they give away in the United States anymore. I, I, I'm pretty sure that they left the salt and pepper shakers on the table and a bottle of ketchup, I'm sure, maybe even a Tabasco sauce. But uh, uh, the other stuff, um, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, so, but yeah, that's the thing about China. And <clears throat> um, we went, uh, the stuff about the museum there, there's, there's a Zhuhai Air, Air and Rocket Museum which shows all this really cool stuff that I really enjoyed. You know, my daughter likes it. She's running all over the place. You know. At her age, she likes to experience it. She's just running here, running there, like I used to. But just, they create memories. Memories create direction of how you want to live your life. And you got me studying aerospace engineering, so. Yeah. Little did I know that Bill Planetarium was the reason why I ended up spending so many hours in the Anaconda chambers and wind tunnel testing, but <laughs> that's the way it is. That's the way it is. So people, let's let's just summarize here. Um, world is spinning out of control, seemingly spinning out of control. Uh, don't let fear hit you. Fear will generate stress. Stress will kill you. Stress will kill you, so don't let that happen. Uh, affirmations, exercise, good food, companionship, pets or humans don't matter, and uh, remain calm because Domain Commander says this is all going to end and merge into a new reality and you'll all be fine. And at that, people, let's call this a quit. I uh, spent too much time yapping, 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 so uh, I, I hope this helps all of you. Don't be fearful. Good things are down the pipe. And no matter what President Trump said about 500% tariffs, uh, that's a suicide move. He may, may have said that to appease some rabid believers, but if he does that, it's a suicide move for the country, so that's not going to happen. Okay? It's like, it's like the people who like to watch Evil Knievel. He, he used to ride uh, motorcycles, and he was always doing all kinds of crazy jumps and uh, on hitting tricks on his motorcycle. A lot, and there's a percentage they just wanted to see him crash and die. You know, because that's his fan base. Imagine that, having a fan base that can't wait to see you die. God, terrible. Don't be like that, okay? Okay, guys, take care. Remember that I believe in you. I do. Be kind to dogs and cats. And in every day, in every way, just be a little bit better. Take care. Bye-bye.
mind. The money no excuse, we run the blind. Our 